So welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. This is question number eight from the International A Level at Excel, June 2022 exam of Pure Mathematics P3. This question here is about a velocity time graph of a sprinter during a 100 meter race. The sprinter's velocity during the race v meters per, sec <coughs> meters per second is modeled by this equation v equals 12 minus e to the power of 10 minus sorry t minus 10 minus 12 e to the power of negative 7.5 t where t is greater than or equal to zero of course it's time so this is not a linear graph okay, this is an kind of like a exponential type of graph combination of different exponential type of graphs and according to the model we've got to find using calculus the sprinter's maximum velocity during the race. So we've got to find basically the highest velocity that he reaches, which is somewhere over here. Okay, it's, it's somewhere over here. That's the highest velocity, which is somewhere at that point there. It reaches its highest velocity. So we've got to re find the highest velocity. So what we can do here is basically using calculus, we've got to find the maximum value of this function, okay, when t is greater than or equal to zero. So that's what we have to find, the maximum value. The maximum of a function by calculus is found by finding the differential. By, by differentiating um, the function, you get the gradient function. And when the gradient function is equal to zero, then you find the maximum or the minimum. In this case, that's going to be the maximum. Okay, so we're going to find dv dt. Now, we have a function which is not like a normal type of function. This is an exponential function. These are exponential. So when you differentiate e to the power of something, for example, if I differentiate e to the power of x with respect to x, it doesn't change. That's one of the special properties of the, the exponential function. Its differential is the same as the original function. So the 12 part will become 0, of course, because that's just a constant. But this will be negative e to the power of t minus 10 okay and then we check to see when we differentiate what's inside the function what do we get or well, you we differentiate t minus 10 with respect to t we get one so that will stay as it is then this stays the same as well you have 12 e to the power of negative 0 0.75 t how does that differentiate it stays the same however inside the function is negative 0 0.75 t if i differentiate that with respect to t I'm going to get negative 0.75. So I have to multiply that by the differential of what's in the, inside the function. That's called the chain rule, okay, when you have a function inside a function. So the main function differentiates by staying the same. What's inside the function, you have to multiply the differential of that by the, you know, what you wrote down. And there we have the derivative dv dt, which I'll just simplify minus e to the power of t minus 10. Negative times negative is positive. 0 0.75 times 12, that's 3 quarters of 12, which is 9. e to the power of negative 0 0.75 t. So here we have the, the dv dt, and we know at the maximum, the maximum, we can say dv dt is equal to 0. So we can now equate this to 0. So minus e to the power of t minus 10 plus 9e to the power of negative 0.75t is equal to 0. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split these up to make it easy because I want to solve for t. So what I could do is I could write this as minus e to the power of t over um, e to the power of 10. Because this is, remember, minus e to the power of t um, divided by e to the power of 10. That's when you subtract the powers you're dividing. Okay, you're dividing the two. So this this would be e to the power of t minus 10. Okay, and this will be 9 divided by e to the power of 0 0.75t, and that's equal to 0. So now if we rearrange this, um, I have 9 over e to the power of 0 0.75t equals e to the power of t over e to the power of 10. Now I can cross multiply to get rid of the fractions. E, 9 e to the power of 10 equals e to the power of t times e to the power of 0.75t. Now these two 
you can add the powers. So that's going to be 1.75t. So you're left with 9 times e to the power of 10 equals e to the power of 1.75t. Okay, now we've got to solve this for t, okay, and then find what v is. Now, so I'm going to now take this to the next page so we have more space. Okay, so this is as far as we got. So we can we can now try to solve this for t. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lin of both sides. I'm going to take the lin log to the base e of both sides to solve this equation. So I have lin of all of 9 e to the power of 10 equals, and if I take the lin of this side, I'll have lin to the base, uh, lin e, lin of e, 1.75 to the power of 1.75t. So this means log to the base e of e. I can use the power law first. So I'll have 1.75t times lin e. And now lin e is equal to 1 because it's log to the base e of e, which is 1. So now I can, um, if I want to, I can split this up as well. If I want to rewrite it, well, I can leave it like this. It's not a big problem. I have t is equal to lin of 9e to the power of 10 over 1.75. And so that gives me, if I use my calculator, that gives me, so I've got lin of 9 times e to the power of 10, close that bracket, over 1.75. That gives me 6.9698, 6.96, 6.9698. Goes on like that, so that's the time at which um, the velocity is its maximum. But the question says find the maximum velocity. So therefore, we can say the maximum velocity is going to be given by v equals twelve minus e to the power of, and you're going to have six point nine six nine eight minus ten minus twelve e to the power of negative zero point seven five times six point nine six. 9, 8, so on. Okay, and then that will give me the, 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 the maximum velocity that he reaches during this race. So what I can do is, this is the answer. That's the last answer. So I can set this up quite nicely by writing 12 minus e to the power of, e to the power of the last answer, which was this, minus 10. And then minus 12 times e to the power of again um, negative zero, one, uh, 0 0.75 sorry negative 0 0.75 times the last answer okay so that's going to give me uh, instead of this I mean, it's going to give me this in those places those answer places so that's going to give me the maximum velocity being 11.887 that's 11.887 meters per second now we should give our answer to 3sf unless otherwise stated it didn't tell us what to, to how to round it so we'll leave it to 3sf that's going to be 11.9 meters per second that's the maximum velocity that he reaches okay so that's the answer to question number eight part a it's about differentiation um now part b is concerning integration so what I'm going to do part B and part C I'll put on separate videos part C is to do with iteration so as it all three separate topics I'll save them under three different videos so that I can save them under their respective topics so I'll have the topic here this will be um, well this particular um, link at the end of this video right now is going to be for the playlist for the paper so you'll find part B and C um, in that playlist um, this will be a playlist which links you or this link will link you to the playlist which deals with differentiation from P3 and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link over there. Thank you for watching and see you soon.